hello beautiful people welcome to my channel once again my name is church girl if you are new to this channel welcome and thank you for joining us for today we are still on our journey of taking charge of our own health and today i promised that i'm gonna do a video on male infertility so that is what i'm gonna be tackling today male infertility uh, according to science um men contribute uh, 40 percent to infertility when it comes to uh infertility in a couple like if some we are trying to conceive about 40 percent of men uh cannot conceive in the natural way okay so uh that means most most men as uh does have a problem with infertility also as well not just women i know many cultures i keep saying many cultures do point the finger to women because they do uh think that women are the cause of infertility, but actually most men have problem with that also. So what contribute to male infertility? Mostly, uh, male infertility, what contribute mostly is low sperm count, okay? Uh, some people, their sperm count that they're supposed to have per milliliter is very low. So they don't have a chance, okay, of fertilizing an egg. Uh, some people also have a problem with um, infection uh, that also contributes to that. Uh, some people do have burning sensation. So if you do have burning sensation, then you don't have the zeal or the urge to, uh, uh, what do you call it, have a sexual intercourse with your partner. Uh, some people also have watery sperms. That means their sperm is just, instead of them to have like quality sperm, they do have, theirs is just watery, basically. So that means that you need a thick, uh, consistent sperm so that for it to fertilize an egg also. So um, I'm going to be talking about so many things. And when you have low sperm count, mostly, that is, that is most of the problem when it comes to men. When you have low sperm count, uh, most people don't have the energy to have sex because it brings your sex down. They have uh, premature ejaculation or they have erectile dysfunction. So that means uh, they don't even, they want to do something, but uh, their sex organ doesn't even want to get up for them to do anything. And one thing also that most men have problem with infertility, um, sometimes it becomes a problem, especially with some couples, uh, men who have a uh, small penis or maybe uh, who have, who's, who have a small, uh, basically who, whose penis are really small for them to go to their partner. So it becomes a problem, especially if you have uh, married to a woman who have actually experienced, uh, uh, who has, who might have had uh, sex with someone before, especially someone who's experienced, it becomes a problem because uh, you feel shy and you don't feel like going to your partner. And I'll throw this for you men out there. If you want to enlarge your penis uh, naturally, just let me know in the comment section. So if I have more men uh, recommending that I should do a video of enlarging their penis, I can also do that. And please don't feel like you are being shallow. Um, it is a problem, okay? Um, when it comes to sex organ, it's just like any other part of the body, okay? It's just like any other part of the body. If there's a problem, you have to do something about it, especially if it's affecting your marriage, if it's affecting your relationship, then you have to do something about it. So women can enlarge their breasts and do so many things. Why can't men do that? So if you are interested in that, let me know. So let's get to the video, okay? So the first thing that I have here, uh, this is cola nuts. Bitter cola, actually bitter cola. We have a lot of uh, different kinds of uh, cola nuts. We have the regular cola nut, which is not that bitter. So this is bitter cola nuts. If a man has a burning sensation, okay, um, that means they are coming up with something. So the best thing for you to do is to get six of these bitter cola nuts, cut it into pieces, blend it with a glass of water and drink it, okay, once a day. Do it once a day for a week, okay and that burning sensation will go away. So what if a man have an um, infection? Okay, well, if you have infection, what I have here, this is fermented corn. Okay, so all that you do is you get corn. I have talked about fermented corn before, but some people who are new here, all you do is you get corn, dry corn, you crush it, pour some water on it and let it sit, cover it and let it sit for three days to ferment. Okay, so that becomes, you pour the water and that becomes your fermented corn. So all that you are going to do is you're going to add um, soya milk, soya milk to this, and a spoon of honey, a spoon 
one one uh, tablespoon of pure honey you add it to it and you drink it if you can make all this okay most men uh when they do have infection i'm not saying you have a gonorrhea or you have uh syphilis but one uh thing which kills uh, gonorrhea and, and syphilis as well too is fermented corn uh if you have fermented corn what you do is you you crush the corn and if you have uh palm wine those of you who live in areas who can get palm wine if you can get palm wine that's fine you're going to pour it on top of the uh, fermented corn ferment it for 24 hours before you drink it and start drinking a, a, a cup um in the morning and a cup in the evening for infection if you can get palm wine what you can also do is you get coconuts uh, coconut water please don't buy the canned coconut water get fresh coconut water pour it on top of the corn that you have uh, lightly crushed cover it and leave it uh, for two days and start drinking it okay as you would okay if you don't have uh, if you don't want to do this you can also do that okay so when a man have a low sperm count uh, it is a big problem okay so that is why you need to boost your sperm count so this is guava leaves what you need is um, fresh guava leaves I have the dry ones so I'm using dry ones to represent so you get fresh guava leaves and you get carrots mix them together it doesn't the measurement doesn't really uh, matter mix them together blend it strain it and drink a glass in the morning and a glass in the evening so that is what you are going to be doing if you have a low stem count also if you have a low stem count and uh, you don't have guava leaves the easiest way for you to do is to get flour the flour that we use for bread please the one that we use for bread and pastries just the plain uh, white flour what you do is instead of making porridge with your grate or with your corn or whatever it is you are going to use the flour to make the porridge so all that you do is you boil water you mix a little bit few spoons maybe two three spoons of flour with water pour it inside the hot water that is on the stove stir it consistently uh, to you get porridge and you just you can add one um you can add a little bit of honey pure honey okay to it and that is gonna be your breakfast every morning if you do that your, your sperm is gonna pick in and you your sperm you are gonna boost your sperm count so it's very very easy for you to do okay so those who have watery sperms okay i have three eggs here if you have watery sperms this recipe you're going to be doing is twice a week what you do is you get two fresh eggs uh crack it and whisk whisk uh, your egg with one one can of milk canned milk uh, if you have a problem with uh, canned milk or you, you are lactose intolerance, uh, you can use almond milk uh, or you can use um, what I recommend uh, to use is tiger nut milk. If you have tiger nut milk, that will be perfect. So you mix like a glass of it to, with this uh, three fresh eggs. You mix it, add a tea, uh, three, three uh, tablespoons, uh, sorry, three teaspoons of honey, pure honey to this okay and you're going to uh, you're going to drink that and that is that can be your breakfast because it's really heavy for you to uh, consume all that you are going to do this twice in a week okay just twice in a week continue doing that and your watering spams will thicken up uh sometimes to some men uh have a problem with um uh, erectile dysfunction where they cannot they have some weakness or premature ejaculation so what you can do is this is uh, onions I have red onions that I have blended you blend it with a little bit of water okay so all that you do is you take uh, two tablespoons of onions and you take one tablespoon of pure honey add it to it take it in the morning and take it in the evening continue doing that okay so you start feeling uh, you, you start noticing that you are very uh, you are doing very very well okay that's you have ejaculation uh, perfect ejaculation also what i have here this is um avocado seeds avocado seeds that i blended okay you can what you can do is you can blend it uh you can blend it dry it first blend it because if you get it too hard it's hard to blend so once it's fresh blend it spread it on a mat uh dry it and when once it's dry you blend it again you get into fine powder so what you do is you take one tablespoon of this uh, avocado seeds 
you mix warm water to it and drink it early in the morning on an empty stomach also uh what i have here those who want to take in their um taking their sperm also as well uh what i have is yoka this is yoka or cassava so you get a little bit of cassava and you add um tiger nuts to it blend it into a smoothie and drink it if you can uh take this if you have low sperm count it's better for you to get something like marker um sorry if you have uh, a problem with uh, erectile dysfunction if you have marker this is marker root so what you do is if you are eating your uh, porridge you can add a teaspoon to this a, a teaspoon of marker to your food or you can just mix it with water and just drink it early in the morning it does it does help you a lot so uh, also what i what you see here this is uh coconuts you see this is the top of coconuts when you get fresh coconuts on top of it this is it, it looks like the roots if you have the roots perfect but uh mostly especially in north america some people don't have don't have access to the roots so you use the top part if you have um a problem with erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation you can also be chewing this it's very good for the men it gives you a lot of um libido for you to be able to perform very well so um also one thing that i want to i want to say i said in my other video when i was doing infertility um most men have problem with infertility when they are very young uh what i said was some people when they have children especially um the boys when you have babies sometimes their testicle does not descend it takes a little it takes a long time for you to descend uh please if you are if you are a parent here yeah, you have to be mindful of that check constantly check it not every day but every now and then check it to see if it has descended maybe a baby is one month you check and it's not there two months three months four months let the doctor know okay so they have to do something to bring it down because once you stay on the groin area for a long time um it can get they will have problem with infertility when they grow up so you need to uh, let your physician know if you have children you need to let your physician know so that you take notice of this so if you're a man please take care of yourself and uh, don't blame your wife alone also whilst your wife is uh you are checking on yourself go to see your doctor and also let your partner also go see their doctor so that both of you can do your own part uh to conceive uh to conceive whenever you want to okay so thank you for joining me for today uh please don't forget to subscribe below okay if you are new please don't, don't forget to subscribe below and like my videos share to your friends and contacts thank you bye bye